The topics covered in this video will be judging attire, bad judging habits versus good judging habits, and the contestant number and judging card etiquette. Bad judging attire. Here is an example of what not to wear to a judging contest. Short pants, baggy clothes, t-shirt, and open-toed shoes are unprofessional and a safety hazard. Compared to an example of good judging attire, which is long pants, a button-up shirt with closed-toed shoes that look professional and provide protection from livestock animals. Now let's look at some bad judging habits. First, copying answers. Each contestant should focus on their own notes and score sheet to keep the contest fair and free of dishonesty. Next, distracting others. Judges should refrain from causing other contestants to lose focus. This means no talking or distracting. Now, using a cell phone. To keep everyone on a fair base, the use of a cell phone during the contest is prohibited. Lastly, coaching interference. While judges are actively participating in the contest, outside help from coaches and other team members is not allowed. Now, let's focus on some good judging habits. Each judger should actively take notes and focus on the class in front of them, getting prepared to present oral reasons or to finalize their placings. Remember to always fill out the judging scorecard. If this is not filled out properly, the judger will lose points. While inside the arena, it is up to the judger to keep track of their clipboard, notes, and judging cards. If lost or torn, see an official for help. When walking into the arena, keep good distance between your fellow contestants. Keeping a distance will prevent cheating. Also, there should be no talking or laughing going on between contestants. You should walk in quietly and prepare to begin judging. When you get to the designated area to judge, keep your backs to the horses until what we call time in. You'll be allowed to turn around once the class begins or once time is in. You're allowed to move around the arena to get better views of the horses, but make sure to not cross over the cone line. Once an official asks for a close inspection and it is your turn, you will be allowed to cross the cone line and inspect the horse. Always stay a safe distance away from the horse. Contestant number and judging card etiquette. As a judger, you will receive multiple judging cards. Make sure to keep track of all the cards to gain as many points as possible. If a card is dropped or lost and goes unnoticed, points will be lost for that judger. When handing in the judging cards after a class, be sure to only hand in the card that has the placings for the class just judged. Do not hand in multiple cards at one time. Finally, contestant numbers should be easily visible and displayed on the front of the shirt. Make sure that the number is not upside down or falling off, because sometimes contestant numbers go missing. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock and horse judging videos at the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.